game set. We've got pictures. Pedro was unconscious. Top of the first, Brian Jordan swinging. Top of the second, Andrew Jones gassed this exit. Gerald Williams, go fish. Top of the third, Walt Weiss. Uh, none for me, thanks. And then Chipper Jones on the changeup. Brian Jordan wishing he was somewhere else in the top of the fourth inning. Brian Klesko just browsing on the inside fastball. New name, Randall Simon, same result. And Gerald Williams for the second time. Top of the sixth now, Brian Jordan is starting to hate baseball. Pedro's tenth strikeout, 43rd career game with ten or more. Bottom six, Jeff Fry on third. Tom Glavin's pitch is just a bit outside, throwing it back to Bill Ricca. Red Sox attempting the suicide squeeze. Fry scores, 4-0 Red Sox. Top of the seventh, Pedro back to work. Javi Lopez, you shush. Randall Simon again. Outside fastball, strike three. Gerald Williams for the third time. How are you? Brett Boone, great view of that changeup. Top of the ninth, Chipper Jones waves bye-bye. And then with the Fenway faithful on their feet, one out. Brian Jordan for the fourth time goes down. A fastball around the knees. Pedro is el hombre. A complete game three hitter as the Sox win 5-1. to one. A career-high 16 strikeouts. 17 and 5 at the Bob coming in. And Randy Johnson trying to add to that mark. He was on his game. Top of the first facing Pudge Rodriguez. Gets him with a high heat as the bat goes flying into the stands. Rodriguez 0 for 4, entering his hit streak at 20 games. Top of the second, Roberto Kelly. No chance there. Three Ks through two innings for Johnson. Top of the third, Royce Clayton. He Ks on the slider, then Mark McLemore throws. Johnson perfect through four with six Ks. Top of the fifth, it is Clayton again, and it is the same result. A no-hitter through five for the big unit. Top of the seventh, Johnson still with the no-no, facing Juan Gonzalez, and Gonzalez breaks it out. With the sharp single to right, seven and two-thirds innings of no-hit ball for Johnson. Gonzalez two for four in the game. Top of the eighth, one on for Clayton. Finally gets a hold of one deep to right and into the pool as we check out the effort by the fan. That's impressive. Great hustle. Clayton's first homer, 11-2 D-backs. Same inning now. Johnson facing Luis Alice Gets him looking. K number 11 for Johnson as the D-backs win it by the final of 11-3. J Top third, Sterling Hitchcock taking the signs from Phil Nevin facing Alex Rodriguez and Hitchcock clearly got the signs. Rodriguez Kays, one of five Hitchcock strikeouts through three. Top of the six, Hitchcock against A-Rod again. That was not what he had in mind. Alex Rodriguez has left the building, his ninth of the year. We are tied at two. Bottom eight now, still tied. Bases loaded, Jose Paniagua facing John Vanderwall with one out. Vanderwall the ground ball, Seattle trying to turn the double play, but Vanderwall beats the throw and a run scores. That was huge as the Padres would win it by a final of 3-2. Ken Griffey, one for two with two walks, no stolen bases. A Kicking off a three-game series. Mark McGuire in BP is one of four players ever to homer over the left field roof in Tiger Stadium. Puts one up there in batting practice. How many do in the game? We'll let you know. Bottom of the first, cards down one nothing. Ray Langford, nice catch to Rob Bobby Higginson. Higginson 0 for three in the ball game. Top of the six, cards down 2-1. It's McGuire up there, and the Tigers with the shift on. Three players on the left side of the infield, and it works. As he grounds to Damian Easley. Big Mac 0 for 4 in the game. Bottom of the seventh, still 2-1 Tigers. Frank Catalanato, a towering two-run homer off Jose Jimenez. This one goes off the third deck. Catalanato's fifth of the season as the Tigers win it by the final of 4-1. Brad Ausmus, three hits in the game. The Cards rip the bottom of the seventh, 3-2 Cubs. Indians threatening with a runner aboard for David Justice, snapping an 0-for-19 slump by taking Terry Mulholland out. A two-run homer, his 11th 4-3 try. Mike Jackson on to close it in the ninth and converted 24 straight save chances coming in. But Gary Gaddy hitting just a buck 74 takes him deep for a two run homer. The big homer for Gaddy puts the Cubs up 5 4. Bottom of the ninth, same score Indians. Runners at the corners, one out. Terry Adams gets Richie Sexton looking. It's strike three. Mike Hargrove not pleased. He didn't think it was strike three. Two outs. Now, next batter, Adams to Kenny Lofton. And Kenny Lofton, the fly ball to Lance Johnson. Lofton 0 for 5 in the ball game. The Cubs win it as they celebrate the 5-4 victory. It was Chicago's seventh win in its last eight. 51. Denny Hawking facing Mike Hampton with the bases loaded. They are loaded no more. Hawking to deep center. Carl Everett can't haul it in. It's a grand slam. Second homer of the year for Hawking. First career grand slam. 5-1 twins. Top of the fifth. It's 6-3. Jeff Bagwell. Going the opposite way for a solo homer, his 16th. Stroh's down 6-4. Top of the eighth, they're down 6-5. Two on for Derek Bell off Mike Trombley. 
Into the gap in left center, Tim Bogar, Craig Biggio score. Bell three for five in the game as the Strohs rally to win it. Seven to six, Trombley blowing his third save in Sox. Top of the 11th, tied at one, bases loaded one out for Jason Kendall, facing Bill Seamus and Kendall battling. Fouling off pitches left and right, except for the ones he was nearly hit by, then fouls off another fastball and another, and then some tough inside heat from Seamus and Kendall fighting it off to stay alive. Two pitches later, the ninth pitch of the at-bat, Kendall comes through. His lone hit of the game, but it was huge. Al Martin, Ed Sprague score. It's 3-1 in favor of the Bucks. Warren Morris later added a three-run homer to make it 6-1. Sox got two meaningless runs, 6-3 the final. It was Pittsburgh's seventh straight win there. All the Phillies and the O's, Terry Francona and Kurt Schilling checking out the action from the dugout. Good place for them to sit. Bottom of the second, 2-1 O's. Bases juice for Desi Relaford, who is four out of six with the bases loaded. Soft line drive to right. Bobby Abreu and Mike Lieberthal both score. Fills up 3-2. Bottom nine now, 9-5 to five Phillies. Will Clark, the shot to third. Kevin Jordan diving, gets to one knee and guns out Will Clark. It was not the fleetest man. Phillies win it by a final of 9-5. to five. Doug Glanville and Ron Gant had four hits each. Scott Erickson allowed seven runs and 11 hits in less than six innings. He's winless since May 9th. His eight losses tied for the most in the majors. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Expos and Blue Jays, top of the fourth. one nothing Jays. Rondell White with a man on, taking David Wells beyond. Straight away center, over the wall. Two-run shot, tenth of the year, 2-1 to one Spos. Bottom seven, same score with a man on. Mike Thurman gets pulled. Felipe Alou calling in Bobby Ayala, 0-4 this season. First batter, Darren Fletcher, ball four. The next batter was Dave Hollins, ball eight. Both walks on four pitches. Next batter, Jose Cruz, Jr., Bingle up the middle. Tony Fernandez, Yukrimskar, Thurman not terribly happy. We're tied at two. So Alou goes to the bullpen again. This time it's Anthony Telford. After a sack fly, made it 3-2. Shannon Stewart singles to right off Telford. Holland scores 4-2 Blue Jays. Alou's bullpen fails him as it's a 6-2 final in favor of Toronto. David, David Cohn against Mike Piazza. His first Yankee Stadium at bat is not memorable. In the bottom of the first, Rick Reed facing Bernie Williams. And Reed hoping to return the favor. Williams swing. Both pitchers sharp early. Bottom five now. Two to one Mets. Scott Brocious on second. Derek Jeter at the bat. Mangoes. Taking a Reed pitch over the left field wall for a two run job. His 10th. 3 2 Yankees. The next inning, it was more of Derek Jeter, this time in the field. Bobby Bo, the liner. Derek Jeter, I think I glove you. Derek doing it all. Top of the six. Mets down a run. Runners on the corners. This a big play. Ray Ordonez at the plate. He will slap one down the right field line. It's touched by a fan. Robin Ventura scores, but Brian McCray was held at third. Now watch this again. As a fan will reach over the rail and touch the ball. It's ruled crowd interference. Jeffrey Mayer, where are you? McCray stranded at third, game tied at three. Bottom seven, same score. Runner on first for Scott Brocious. Over the head of Ricky Henderson and left. Tony Tarasco, come on down. Brocious safe at second with a double. And that fan interference call was huge. The Yankees win it 4-3. to three. The Mets have now lost seven straight games. Derek for the Angels and the Dodgers. 1-0 Angels, top of the fourth. Kevin Brown facing Troy Glaus, who gets the better of that battle. A two-run homer. He was two for four. 3 nothing Angels, his eighth homer. It's the ninth homer given up by Brown this year. Gave up just eight all of last season. Bound of the fourth, tied at three. Jose Vizcaino takes care of that. A two-run homer, 5-3 Dodgers, his first of the season. 5-4 Dodgers, top of the ninth. Darren Erstad with a man on second. Jeff Shaw bearing down, gets him swinging. Shaw case two in one inning and route to his 13th save as the Dodgers win it by the final of 5-4. to four. They stand in the Rockies, top of the 10th. Two outs, two on. Ron Belliard at the plate. Ground ball to short. Nafi Perez to second. Not in time. Alex Ochoa tries to score, but he is gone. Game still tied 8-8. Eight to eight. Bottom 10, two on for Dante Bichette against Bob Wickman, and Bichette happens. Lining one to left center, Daryl Hamilton, you can score. Rockies win it in a thriller, nine to eight in 10 innings. Milwaukee's now lost three of their last four. Bichette was four out of six in the game, two doubles and three RBI. Larry Walker, three for five with a homer, his 11th, also drove in three.